everybody, welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk really quickly about how to import products into your Shopify store. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is how to access products in your Shopify store. I'm here in my development store and if you go from the home page and just on the left hand side click on products, it'll take you right to your product page. It will show you everything that you have. Um, here I just have a couple of silly products that I have added. But I want to show you how to import products so that you don't have to go through the manual add process every time. So if you click up here on import, it will bring up this import products by CSV um, tab. Okay. Now, one of the handy things that Shopify has done for merchants is they have a sample template to, uh, for you to use to see an example of the format required. Now, if you download this template, it will help you get the right fields and understand the formatting. There's also a full help article right here um, to help you import products uh, with a breakdown of what each individual label on everything in the spreadsheet is. But for now, I've already pulled together a test um, Excel CSV. So I'm going to drop this here and we're not going to overwrite because I we don't have these products already existing in here. We're just going to use the test CSV and we're going to play with it a little bit. So if we go upload and continue, it'll take a second to process. And then look, it shows us a sample of what we're importing so that we can make sure that it's doing it properly. If anything at this stage looks messed up, so for example, your description is accidentally in your title or your type and your vendor are messed up or none of your variants are correct and the prices are all wrong, it's really important that you stop at this point, go back, fix your CSV uh, before importing because if you import it with everything wrong here, it'll be wrong when you're done, okay? You can see I've got my cool product. Everything looks good. The variants are showing up properly. I didn't bother with SKUs and weights because this is just a test. Um, but everything looks good. So if I click on import products, it tells me I can close this dialog if I want to continue working. You know, I usually just choose to wait unless I'm importing a lot of products. And you can see here, it only imported one because the other two are actually already in this store. Um, so it's imported cool product is my new product and you can see all the fields are exactly as though I had done it in the add product form but I used the CSV I used the Excel spreadsheet that I built to import it now, this isn't so useful when you just have one product that you want to add but if you're wanting to add 20, 30, 40 products simultaneously because you're populating your store for the first time. Or let's say you wanted to make sweeping changes to your pricing or um, any of your variants or, or any of your tags. This is a really quick and easy way to do it. In one of my future tutorials, I'm also going to show you how to use the product editor to edit multiple products at the same time for things like that. Um, but for me, I actually use the CSV when I'm managing stores for clients. I use the CSV when I'm importing products for new stores. It's just the fastest, easiest way to get products into your store. I hope this quick tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you like it, make sure you like and subscribe below. Hit the bell so you get notified when I put up new videos and tutorials. I'm adding new tutorials all the time. I have quite the list of things I want to cover to help you build your online presence, build your Shopify store, get started in e-commerce or grow your e-commerce uh, business. So please stay tuned for more.